I want to talk a little bit about consistency and how photographers really gravitate towards finding their own style or vision and really sticking to that without really experimenting. I see it all the time where people are talking about finding, you know, the perfect camera or the perfect camera and film combination to really fit their style or their voice. And I think that's a good thing, especially if you're working on one particular project or series, having a consistent look is really going to help things flow and give it sort of the signature look. But I know I've personally stopped myself from shooting a particular photo or maybe even just exploring an idea because in my head I'm just kind of telling myself well that's not my style or my voice that doesn't fit with what I try to do yet when I see another photographer shoot something that's completely different from what they normally shoot I get excited because I feel like I'm starting to see a new side to that photographer that I didn't even know existed so it's easy to keep ourselves kind of in a box but I think it's important to explore new ideas and try different things out even if you aren't gonna share the photos right away or at all, give yourself that opportunity to just explore a little bit. I grabbed a few books here from different photographers that I thought would kind of help demonstrate this idea a little bit clearer. First up, we have Alex Soth, Sleeping by the Mississippi, probably his most famous body of work. It's kind of what gave him uh, sort of, you know, the career that he has now. It's really what kind of put him on the map. And this book is full of large format color photographs. And in terms of a process for photography, I can't think of anything that just is more deliberate than large format photography. The time it takes just to set the camera up and dial things in, it's a very deliberate process. And all of these photos had to take an immense amount of time to actually get exactly what he was looking for. You're working on a tripod, it's very grounded, very slow and methodical. And of course, having the color to work with just adds another layer of, you know, different decisions he was making when shooting these photos. But then you take a look at another book of his, Songbook, which is probably my favorite book of his, and it's entirely different. This book is completely black and white. There are no color photos at all, and it wasn't made with a large format film camera. This was made with a medium format digital camera. That alone is gonna change the dynamic completely in subject matter and how he's using the camera. I don't know if all of these were made, you know, handheld or on a tripod. I would imagine a lot of these, just given some of the scenes, it had to be a mix of both. And Soth has talked about wanting to go for this sort of, uh, you know, classic press style photography. Black and white with a flash sort of reportage style, which is definitely very different from how he composed and shot the photos for Sleeping by the Mississippi. He wouldn't have been able to get the same photos using the large format camera that he got in this, and then I think vice versa. Without that slow, deliberate process of the 8x10, I don't think some of those scenes would have came across if he was working with maybe a different process or just a different speed. Next, we have Animals by Sage Sawyer. This is one of my favorite photo books by one of my favorite photographers of all time. Um, I've done a video on her work before. This is a book of black and white photos of people with their pets. A lot of moments that even if they were sort of planned out or staged, they still feel very candid and very raw. The photos in At Home With Themselves, same-sex couples in 1980s America. This is another book by her that has a very similar look and feel to it. A lot of black and white photos with flash or maybe a bounced flash. Uh, it's a very similar style and feel to not only just how they look, but you know, how she's shooting the photos. They might be posed, but they still feel very candid and honest in the expression and interaction between people. And then you have another book of hers, Witness to Beauty, which is completely different from the other two books. This is an entire project just about her mother and her mother's beauty, and it's all color photographs, whereas the previous two books were all black and white. This has a very different style, not just in how it looks, but also just in how the photos are presented. You still have that very kind of candid and raw feeling to a lot of the photos, especially the ones of her mom by herself, but then you also have these photos where Sage has actually placed herself in the photos with her mom, and it's almost sort of like this uh, breaking the fourth wall kind of like winking at the camera in a way because there's a lot of humor in her kind of doing whatever her mother is doing, you know, fitting in and trying to keep up with her mom. And just in her expressions in some of these photos, it feels uh, very innocent, but also kind of playful, kind of like she's telling a joke to the viewer. And then you have other photographers like Mark Steinmetz who have a very, very deliberate style and approach to their work where no matter what project or even decade you're looking at, you're seeing a very consistent feel and style to everything. And that's honestly one thing I really love about his work. Work. We're gonna dive into that in a different video, so stay tuned for that. But just to show, while there are people who are experimenting and trying out different things, 
you also obviously have people who are very set in what it is they're trying to do and uh, you know the tools and the process that they're going with. So all of this to say, keep experimenting, keep trying out different things. You never know what you're gonna stumble into that maybe you didn't think was your style or your vision, but you might end up coming into something that you actually really love and you feel like is true to yourself. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this topic in general. It's just been on my mind lately, so I thought it would be worth sharing. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm sure you also noticed that we are back in the office, although I don't have anything on the walls yet. We just moved everything back in yesterday, and I'm super excited with how it's turned out so far. Uh, I definitely went with a different feel for this office, and I'm really, really enjoying it. It's much more of a lounge than an actual office space. Uh, if you wanna see a video on like the setup here and all of that, let me know. Um, just trying something a little bit different and I'm enjoying it. So if you wanna see a video on it, let me know. Uh, but that's it for today. Love you guys, I'll see you next time.